Okay, chem peeps. So I was extremely discontent with my copper chromite catalyst not having worked before because I was absolutely sure that I made the catalyst right. And as I'd said in the benzene video, I suspected that it was because it just doesn't work with benzoic acid. Um, since I put that video out this morning, a couple people have said that they think it only works with um, heterocyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, and I'm beginning to think that they are right. Because I went ahead and I did the set up the prep of purinine exactly like Doug's lab have done it. Um, I can't remember what the amounts are, but it's on the screen now. But anyway, this is niacin powder and the copper chromite catalyst. Heating it up and lo and behold, we are getting distillate. And believe me, it is purining because I can smell that shit from here. So, and what's more, happily, not having to worry too much about sublimating niacin causing a problem. Although I should probably turn the heat down a little bit. But because the puridine is refluxing in there, um, so long as you keep the temperature just right, um, it helps to wash that shit back down into there, keeping it from clogging anything up. Yeah, I really should turn that temperature down a little bit. I got distracted filming this, but I'm just so excited my copper chromite catalyst does work. So, yay, vindicates that prep, and I still got it. Got purity coming. Yeah, this is another thing I fucking needed too. I've got like 10 milliliters, not even 10 milliliters of purity left. So it's not like I didn't need this. So yay. Now we know the mystery is solved. It just doesn't work with benzoic acid. So till the next one, you guys. I see you later.